We are Danae and Bruce, and along with our daughter Freya, we have been living in the Middle East for the last eight years. We were feeling ready for a new adventure, and after going on a family holiday to Mauritius in early 2022, we fell in love with the island and decided to sell all of our belongings and start a new exciting chapter. So after saying goodbye to our home and packing all our possessions into a few suitcases, we boarded a plane and started this new journey. Join us as we learn what it means to live a slower pace of life and explore this beautiful island that we now call home. That was a rough night. What do you think you've been? 6.30. Our cutest little two-year-old decided to wake up and stay awake until sunrise. So yeah, we to take the night. Well, that was a night. Raya woke up at like three. I don't know if you have any toddlers, but I think it's kind of common for toddlers and young children to wake up randomly in the middle of the night and not be able to get back to sleep. So I tried for like an hour and a half with her to get her to fall back to sleep. Didn't work. And then Bruce ended up staying up with her until 6.30. So she's sleeping now in our bed because I was, went back to sleep and he brought her back to me. So she's sleeping. Um, she does this every once in a long while. Just wake up and want to party. <laughs> so anyway, so she's having a sleep in. This is not how we planned our morning. We actually were going to wake up early and um, start a new like workout routine you know waking up early every morning working out together um setting some healthy rhythms which i'll talk about later but yeah this um this kind of took us a little bit by surprise and um, as kids like to throw us curveballs so we're gonna drink our coffee and then I think we're gonna still work out while Friday sleeps. Um, but yeah, just a little bit later in the day. It is, you say, past nine o'clock now? Yeah, 10 past nine. 10 past nine. So, not exactly the early start that we were hoping for, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Okay, man. workout done. Please note that we are not professionals. <laughs> we are very um, average workout enthusiasts. So don't, um, yeah, don't take this for a guide or anything like that. But workout done for today. Boom. So my goal is to do four kilometers today. What's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal? Oh, for the end of the 30. Uh, ultimate goal will be 10 Ks um, by the end of 30 days. So let's see if I get there. So Bruce has gone for his run. Freya's awake, but she's playing. I'm going to do a morning stretch now that I've finished my workout um, with Maddie Morrison. I've done her uh, stretches before and I've really enjoyed them. I like doing a stretch after workout, first thing in the morning, can focus on what I am grateful for and just feel like I start the day on a really positive note. So, my usual pace is uh, somewhere around 5.30. Um, if I can just keep it under six minutes for now, that'll be great. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh, 
I'm about one kilometer in. I'm feeling good. Here's the mountain. Second kilometer was better. I did a 518. Oh. I think I averaged over all four. 534. Good to exercise, you always feel good exercising. I don't think I've ever regret exercising. So, phew, four kilometers. Hopefully tomorrow I can do the same. With a little bit more consistency. <sighs> so, not the most relaxing stretch I've ever had, but that's life, real life with a toddler. Um, I was hoping I'd get one in before she woke up, but that obviously didn't happen. Anyways, now for breakfast, um, we have some really, really ripe bananas. I think I'm gonna make banana pancakes with Freya. And then we have to run to the shops because I think she has all but like one diaper. Um, so once I change her, that's it. I went to the shops the other day to buy more diapers for her and um, the pull-ups and they didn't have her size. So hopefully they have them in stock today. Um, if not, I'll have to get a different brand. So, okay, let's make some banana pancakes. Are you gonna have pancakes with us? I'm gonna skip the pancakes. Yeah. I'm tempted. Yeah, I'll have one pancake. Get banana pancakes. Oh, really? Yeah. No sugar. Mm, maybe just some syrup. I thought you were going to say something cheesy like this is all the sugar you need. <laughs> that too. Mm. Okay, you need to go have a shower. I know, I'm stinky, stinky and sweaty. Okay. <laughs> so, brushed her teeth, we have gotten dressed, I have showered, and Freya has had a diaper change. We are ready to go. I'm gonna go to the shops, pick up a few things, um, specifically diapers, hoping, hoping that they have her size. And then we'll come back home and probably have some lunch. Okay, three, two, one, go. Look at this. 
So Mauritius has been mask free um, just before we arrived, so about two months now. And it's actually been so nice not to have to wear masks indoors. Um, but you still see some people wearing masks just because it makes them feel safe, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, we're enjoying not having to. What, what do you do with the heart? Making a wish with the heart? <laughs> nice. Is it good? Okay, let's put them back here. And, and some blueberries. majority of stores in Mauritius you have to bring your own reusable bags which I think is really nice. There's a few stores you can get some plastic bags but I think they're all like recycled plastic. Um, so Mauritius is actually doing quite a good job with um, eliminating plastics which is quite cool. Stopped to get chicken at one store. That store was closed for some reason on a Monday. Went to another store to get chicken and they were sold out. I don't know what it is with chicken. So I ended up getting some beef lasagna ready made and some vegetables that are already cut up for an easy dinner tonight. Um, we've had this a few times and it's actually really yum. So, from a shop called Bill Tum. Dada, what is for lunch? Uh, leftover curry. <gasps> leftover curry? Yum. Why are you cooking for lunch, Dada? I'm cooking some curry and rice with naan bread. Look at this. Yummy. Yeah. A little bit of reality. We have washing to do, dishes to clean, dishwasher to empty, because that's clean. I usually do that first thing in the morning, but I didn't get to it. Rightfully, because he was up really early with Freya um, in the middle of the night, and Freya is playing so nicely in her room. It's rainy and drizzly out here. We probably would have gone to the beach by now, but because of the rain, I'm just chilling a bit. Where is it done? And kind of relax. I think living on an island has been so nice, learning to like live slowly and in the moment and not like rush off oftentimes there's nowhere to be um bruce works from home which has just been so so nice um Frey and i have very little going on other than exploring the island and going to the beach so it's been nice to just like take it easy so i think right now i might just make myself a, a tea or a coffee and just sit and chill and just sit and read just be in my thoughts um, and then I think if it clears up enough we'll go and watch sunset on the beach yeah. so it was just 
pouring down with rain, but luckily it has now stopped. So we are gonna go down to the beach to watch sunset and take you along with us. So we are back at La Pernus Beach. It is definitely one of our favorites and lucky for us that it's just a short walk from our home. Um, the rain has stopped and the sunset is just absolutely beautiful, mm. setting this gorgeous glow on the ocean and Freya is running around playing, collecting sticks and shells, just having the best time. And we're just feeling really grateful to be here and grateful that we can create these healthy rhythms that I had mentioned earlier in this vlog. Um, in the day. Yeah, it's, um, it's really is a privilege to, to live in a place like this. Um, and uh, yeah, to create those healthy rhythms, not just physically, not just, you know, exercising like we did this morning or eating better, but also just kind of mental and um, I guess emotional rhythms as well. Mm -hmm. Spending more time together as a family, um, having access to peace, you know, where uh, your days feel longer, have more time in your day. And we are really looking forward to making these uh, rhythms something that comes naturally. It's mm -hmm. like a second nature that isn't something that we have to think about too much. Yeah. Um, but it just becomes part of our life. Like coming down for sunset, even if there was raining, you know, 10 minutes ago, be like, ah, oh, we'll chance it and come. And then we do, and we're just so grateful. It just fills our cup so much. Yeah. Um, and it's just so nice to have this quality time as a family um, and with Freya. So I think we'll end the vlog here, but I hope you enjoyed seeing what a day in our life looks like. Um, like, if you haven't liked this video yet, subscribe and... Comment. Comment. Yeah, if you, <laughs> comment on your healthy rhythms. Yeah, I was Let's, about to say that. Yeah. Yeah. If you have any um, healthy rhythms that you've been kind of implementing into your life, especially after the pandemic, let us know in the comments. And join us tomorrow. Yep. <laughs>